Hello and welcome to TechFusion.net's first video how-to, the ATI Radeon HD3870 Breakdown by Danish Devil. Alright, first thing you're going to need is your video card, obviously. What you want to do first is you want to get a jeweler's screwdriver set, if possible, because some of these screws are really small. And what you want to do first is find a real small Phillips screwdriver, something like that. And we're going to be looking at the four screws here for the um, GPU heatsink. And just be very careful not to strip these because these screws will strip very easily and even that screwdriver is not small enough. So let's get the smallest one that we've got here. How's that? Can't even focus on it, it's so small. Just be sure to put lots of downward pressure in. That's why I like these jeweler screwdrivers, you can put your hand right on top there and twist. And this sucker's not going to want to go. So my little trick to do is take some pliers you've got, one hand down for pressure, grab this and twist to get the screw started and then you should be able to pull the rest of the way. Now don't do one screw at a time all the way because as you can see they've got some little springs under and that will mess up your GPU core because if you start on one end and then it's got all the pressure on one end of the GPU core it could smash it which would be very bad. So I like to do one side, maybe one or two full turns, and then switch to the other side, and then do the other axis. It's much, much easier to get this started if you've got a pair of pliers and you use that trick. Because those things are screwed on hard. And then once you get it going, you can start to really crank these off. And obviously you don't want to do this with a card in the case or plugged in at all. It would be very bad. Now I'm not sure if this card has the stock uh, thermal paste on it or not since I got it used in a trade, but we will see. Alright, once you've got that off, you can just pull this whole assembly off. I don't recommend messing with this at all as far as taking the springs out or anything to set that aside. And then for most reference models just the heat sink itself for the core is just held in by those four screws. So at this point you'll be able to pull it off with some heat sinks. As you can see we've got a couple more holes in the PCB. Some heat sinks that actually cover the RAM and the GPU core will, um, will be screwed into all of those. So here's what you've got so far. You've got the stock cooler removed, got the TIM there, there's the GPU core, we've got one big copper RAM sink and the sink for voltage regulators. next thing to do is unplug power cable from the end, just rock it back and forth, and there's your GPU cooler. Set that aside, and let's get these ramp sinks off. Now for these you can use regular screwdriver, should work fine. I'm going to still be using one of these jeweler screwdrivers though. Let's do the RAM first. And these you can just take off one by one. And these separate RAM sinks are usually held on by little thermal pads. Once you get those off, you can just grab it, usually by a corner or something, and pop it off. Or if you need a little leverage, just take one of the screwdrivers or something and just pop it off. Okay, that's going to ruin the card. Let's try knife. That should work. 
while those suckers held on there. And you can pop that off. There are the thermal pads and a rim. Set all those aside. Don't mess with the thermal pads. It, unless you want to like order more online or something. There's no real reason to mess with them whatsoever. And I mean, since these are screwed onto the RAM, you, you could use some thermal paste for them instead. If you wanted to, just make sure it's non-conductive. So do not use Arctic Silver on this at all. Very, very bad idea with memory. But if you wanted to use some Arctic Cooling MX2 or something similar to that, I guess you could. The thermal pads will do their job. With this, I'm just going to use pliers to pull it off because I don't feel like screwing around with all those components around there. And there is the thermal pad for voltage regulators. And there is our bare voltage regulators. And so far, it's pretty much bare card. And let me grab everything that we pulled off here so you guys can see. Exactly the hardware goes into this. And there we have it fully broken down. ATI Radeon HD3870 naked. Coming up, I'll show you guys how to clean thermal paste off, get this card ready to go for a new application, and how to slap some more on there.